In computer science, a generator is a special routine that can be used to control the iteration behavior of a loop. In fact, all generators are iterators. A generator is very similar to a function that returns an array, in that a generator has parameters, can be called, and generates a sequence of values. However, instead of building an array containing all the values and returning them all at once, a generator yields the values one at a time, which requires less memory and allows the caller to get started processing the first few values immediately. In short, a generator looks like a function but behaves like an iterator. Generators can be implemented in terms of more expressive control flow constructs, such as coroutines or first-class continuations. Generators, also known as semicoroutines, are a special case of and weaker than coroutines, in that they always yield control back to the caller when passing a value back, rather than specifying a coroutine to jump to. See comparison of coroutines with generators. Topic uses. Generators are usually invoked inside loops. The first time that a generator invocation is reached in a loop, an iterator object is created that encapsulates the state of the generator routine at its beginning, with arguments bound to the corresponding parameters. The generator's body is then executed in the context of that iterator until a special yield action is encountered. At that time, the value provided with the yield action is used as the value of the invocation expression. The next time the same generator invocation is reached in a subsequent iteration, the execution of the generator's body is resumed after the yield action, until yet another yield action is encountered. In addition to the yield action, execution of the generator body can also be terminated by a finish action, at which time the innermost loop enclosing the generator invocation is terminated. In more complicated situations, a generator may be used manually outside of a loop to create an iterator, which can then be used in various ways. Because generators compute their yielded values only on demand, they are useful for representing streams, such as sequences that would be expensive or impossible to compute at once. These include e.g. infinite sequences and live data streams. When eager evaluation is desirable, primarily when the sequence is finite, as otherwise evaluation will never terminate, one can either convert to a list, or use a parallel construction that creates a list instead of a generator. For example, in Python a generator G can be evaluated to a list L via L equals list G, while in F# -sharp the sequence expression seq evaluates lazily a generator or sequence but evaluates eagerly a list. In the presence of generators, loop constructs of a language, such as for and while, can be reduced into a single loop end loop construct. All the usual loop constructs can then be comfortably simulated by using suitable generators in the right way. For example, a ranged loop like for x equals 1 to 10 can be implemented as iteration through a generator as in python's for x in x range 1 10 further break can be implemented as sending finish to the generator and then using continue in the loop equals <laughs> topic timeline equals 
Generators first appeared in CLU 1975, were a prominent feature in the string manipulation language ICON 1977, and are now available in Python, C Sharp, Ruby, the later versions of ECMAScript as of ES6, ES2015, and other languages. In CLU and C Sharp, generators are called iterators, and in Ruby, enumerators. Equals. Topic Lisp. Equals. The final common Lisp standard does not natively provide generators, yet various library implementations exist, such as series documented in CLTL2 or PyGen. CLU <coughs> 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 A yield statement is used to implement iterators over user-defined data abstractions. Equals topic icon equals every expression including loops is a generator. The language has many generators built in and even implements some of the logic semantics using the generator mechanism. Logical disjunction or OR is done this way. Printing squares from 0 to 20 can be achieved using a co-routine by writing, local squares, j squares, equals create seq 0 carat 2 every j, equals, at squares do if j write j else break however, most of the time custom generators are implemented with the suspend keyword which functions exactly like the yield keyword in CLU. topic jq as in icon in jq every expression is a generator the infinite generator of primes can serve as an example def primes def siv g first g as dollar n dollar n siv g select percent dollar n equals 0 siv range 2 infinite topic c C does not have generator functions as a language construct, but, as they are a subset of coroutines, it is simple to implement them using any framework that implements stackful coroutines, such as libdl. On POSIX platforms, when the cost of context switching per iteration is not a concern, and or full parallelism rather than merely concurrency is desired, a very simple generator function framework can be implemented using p-threads and pipes. C++ It is possible to introduce generators into C++ using pre-processor macros. The resulting code might have aspects very different from native C++, but the generator syntax can be very uncluttered. A very good example can be found at the set of pre-processor macros defined in this source allow generators defined with the syntax as in the following example. This can then be iterated using. Moreover, C++11 allows for each loops to be applied to any class that provides the begin and end functions. It's then possible to write generator-like classes by defining both the iterable methods begin and end and the iterator methods operator equals operator plus plus and operator asterisk in the same class. For example, it is possible to write the following program: 
a basic range implementation would look like that. Topic: <laughs> Perl. Perl does not natively provide generators, but support is provided by the Coro generator module which uses the Coro coroutine framework. Example usage TCL In TCL 8.6, the generator mechanism is founded on named coroutines. Haskell In Haskell, with its lazy evaluation model, everything is a generator, every datum created with a non-strict data constructor is generated on demand. For example, where smiley face is a non-strict list constructor, cons, and dollar is just a called with operator, used for parenthesization. This uses the standard adapter function which refetches values agreeable with a predicate, and stops requesting new values as soon as a non-agreeable one is encountered. The shared storage access is used as a universal mediator in Haskell. List comprehensions can be freely used. Racket <laughs> 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 Racket provides several related facilities for generators. First, its for loop forms work with sequences, which are a kind of a producer. And these sequences are also first class values. Some sequences are implemented imperatively with private state variables, and some are implemented as possibly infinite lazy lists. Also, new struct definitions can have a property that specifies how they can be used as sequences. But more directly, Racket comes with a generator library for a more traditional generator specification. For example, Note that the Racket core implements powerful continuation features, providing general continuations that are composable, and also delimited continuations. Using this, the generator library is implemented in Racket. PHP <laughs> <laughs> The community of PHP implemented generators in 5 Philippine pesos and 50 centavos. Details can be found in the original RFC about generator. Topic: <inaudible> Ruby. Ruby supports generators starting from version 1.9 in the form of the built-in enumerator class. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Java. Java has had a standard interface for implementing iterators since its early days and since Java 5 the for each Construction makes it easy to loop over objects that provide the java.lang.iterable interface, the Java Collections Framework and other collections frameworks, typically provide iterators for all collections. However, Java does not have generators built into the language. This means that creating iterators is often much trickier than in languages with built-in generators, especially when the generation logic is complex. 
because all state must be saved and restored every time an item is to be yielded from an iterator, it is not possible to store state in local variables or use built-in looping routines, as when generators are available, instead, all of this must be manually simulated, using object fields to hold local state and loop counters. Even simple iterators built this way tend to be significantly bulkier than those using generators, with a lot of boilerplate code. The original example above could be written in Java 5 as An infinite Fibonacci sequence could also be written in Java 5 as an iterator. Also an infinite Fibonacci sequence could also be written using Java 8 stream interface or get an iterator from the Java 8 super interface base stream of stream interface. C sharp An example C# 2.0 generator. The yield is available since C# version 2.0. Both of these examples utilize generics, but this is not required. Yield keyword also helps in implementing custom stateful iterations over a collection as discussed in this discussion. It is possible to use multiple yield return statements and they are applied in sequence on each iteration. XL In XL, iterators are the basis of for loops. F# -sharp provides generators via sequence expressions, since version 1.9.1. These can define a sequence lazily evaluated, sequential access via SEQ, a list eagerly evaluated, sequential access via or an array eagerly evaluated, indexed access via that contain code that generates values. For example, forms a sequence of squares of numbers from 0 to 14 by filtering out numbers from the range of numbers from 0 to 25. Python Generators were added to Python in version 2.2. An example generator In Python, a generator can be thought of as an iterator that contains a frozen stack frame. Whenever the iterator's next method is called, Python resumes the frozen frame, which executes normally until the next yield statement is reached. The generator's frame is then frozen again, and the yielded value is returned to the caller. PEP 380 implemented in Python 3.3 adds the yield from expression, allowing a generator to delegate part of its operations to another generator. Topic: <laughs> Generator expressions. Python has a syntax modeled on that of list comprehensions, called a generator expression that aids in the creation of generators. The following extends the example above by using a generator expression to compute squares from the countFrom generator function. ECMAScript ECMAScript 6 aka Harmony introduced generator functions. An infinite Fibonacci sequence can be written using a function generator. Topic R 
The iterators package can be used for this purpose. Topic See also List comprehension for another construct that generates a sequence of values Iterator for the concept of producing a list one element at a time Iterative for an alternative Lazy evaluation for producing values when needed Corecursion for potentially infinite data by recursion instead of yield Coroutine for even more generalization from subroutine Continuation for generalization of control flow Notes <laughs> <laughs>